What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about Halo Infinite on old gen consoles. Now I've had some issues with my Xbox One over the years, so I did not actually get to play Halo 5. So the last Halo game that I played was Halo 4. I started playing Halo back with Halo 1 when I was in high school and college. Of course, you know, then there was no Xbox Live. We actually used to hook up a hub and play split screen and play like four on four, eight on eight, that kind of thing in custom games way back when. So that's kind of where my passion for playing FPS games kind of started. But during the Halo 5 era, my uh, Xbox One was messed up. I finally got it fixed, but by the time I got it fixed, I felt like I was going to be way behind because the game had been out for a while, so I just did not play Halo 5. So I had definitely uh, had some rust <laughs> when it comes to playing Halo uh, since I had not played since Halo 4. But I decided to go ahead and get my Xbox One out since it is working correctly now and try Halo Infinite out because it is a free download because it is free to play the multiplayer portion. So... And I have, I have really been enjoying it. I will say that to begin with. Now, you are going to have some disadvantages if you're playing on Xbox One. Of course, one being, you know, you're only going to be able to get 30 FPS where other players are going to have 60 plus. Also, the graphics are not going to be as good. Now, don't get me wrong, they're not bad. But of course, things at a distance and, uh, you know, things of that nature are not going to be quite as sharp. You at least have the option to have an FOV on old gen consoles. So that is a little bit better, even though I'm playing at a lower frame. Having that FOV setting is a very good thing. Now, I really love to have a Xbox. I was planning on maybe getting an Xbox. I was thinking maybe like the Series S, since PS5 is really my main console now. Um, I was thinking about getting a Series S just to play Halo. But since we just bought the house, of course, if you follow the channel here, we just purchased a house. So I really not had the extra cash as of right now to buy a Xbox S to try this out on. So I was thinking, you know what? I'm just going to play it on the Xbox One and, and give it a whirl and kind of see what happens. And I actually have been enjoying this a lot. Now, of course, you know, I play Battlefield, I play Call of Duty, and I will say out of all the three, this is probably the most polished, best version of an FPS game we're going to have this year. And that's just my opinion. Now, don't get me wrong, I still enjoy playing Battlefield, I still enjoy playing Vanguard, they do have their issues. When you look at Halo, of course, they had years and years to make this game, and it is very, very polished. It is very enjoyable. The casual matches are fun. The big team matches are fun. This is a game mode here. Of course, our game you're seeing in the background is in the ranked uh, playlist. And I've really been enjoying playing ranked. So, of course, I'm in here playing ranked, you know, with PC players, you know, with new gen Xbox players. And I'm still able to compete. So, it is definitely enjoyable on old gen consoles. Now, if you can get your hands on a new gen, I would definitely recommend that. If you have a PC that will run it, I will recommend that. My PC is a bit old and it kind of takes everything it has now to be able to do everything I do for YouTube. So I really didn't want to put the strain on it of trying to play Halo on it as well. But if you don't have any other options and you you still have an Xbox One, I would highly recommend you boot your uh, Xbox One up, update it, dust it off, and give Halo Infinite a try. Because to be a free-to-play multiplayer shooter, it is probably one of the best uh, shooters we're probably going to have this year and maybe for the next couple of years. It is just a very enjoyable game and I was really shocked at how much I enjoyed it playing it on old gen. I, I knew I would enjoy the game because I've always liked Halo, but my concern was it was not going to be very good on old gen consoles. And I was thinking, you know, that 30 FPS and things of that nature wasn't going to be that enjoyable and it actually is really good. Once you get your controller settings down, it kind of reminds me of Battlefield, 5, uh, Battlefield 2042 this year, how we have all these different axle dead zones and things. That is a bit confusing. It's hard to get your uh, right sensitivity. But once you get your sensitivity down, it feels really good. It is really enjoyable. And like I said, all the different modes we have available are really good. And plus, if you have Xbox Game Pass, uh, the game will be available on their day one once the you know the full game releases and the campaign is available to play as well. So if you have Xbox Game Pass, uh, you can download that and play it. I'm looking forward to playing that campaign. But I really am enjoying the multiplayer. Now I have the dilemma of uh, having even more things, to, having even more things to upload here to YouTube. I have three shooters now to play this year. It's going to be hard to ever really get any good at any of them. But I just really enjoy playing all of them. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you've played Halo Infinite just yet. Let me know what platform you're playing on. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description: the community Discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel: Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Be sure also to check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.